Amanda here from Fun Hands-On Learning. Today I'm going to show you some activities for kindergarten or first grade students. These are math and literacy activities and these are the activities that I'm doing with my five-year-old this week. So the first one is a measurement activity. This one is grocery store height measurement and it is from my early learners math curriculum uh, unit 8 on measurement. And what it is, is they have to measure these grocery store items and then write the measurement numbers on their mat. As you can see here, my son actually already did this this week, so he's written his numbers on his mat. He had to take the ruler, the ruler is some grocery carts, and then he just takes one of the items, like here are the uh, blueberries. He has to remember how to measure by lining up the bottom and keeping it straight and then counting one, two, three, four, five. The blueberries were five, um, uh, five grocery court cart, uh, carts high. So then he wrote a five right here next to the grocery carts on his mat. And he used dry erase markers, so I'm going to be able to erase this and use it again. So that's the first activity. Okay, line it right up with the edge. Oh. Okay, but make sure it's lined up right with the edge. Yes, that's how we measure. But you were correct. It's four grocery carts tall. So dinner with the strawberries. Hold your pencil properly. And now it's one, the pumpkin. Mm hmm Find the strawberry. Whoop, that's not the strawberries, is it? I know. Whoopsie. <laughs> it's the strawberries. There you go. Job. This next activity that he's going to be doing is from my geometry unit of my early learners math curriculum and he's going to be doing shapes. We're just going to pair this up, this activity up with um, these pattern blocks. Okay, so need some pattern blocks for this one. And what he's going to do is he's going to spin the spinner and whatever it lands on, he's going to find that pattern block. So it landed on triangle. So he's going to go ahead inside his Pattern blocks, he's gonna find the pattern block. Then he's gonna look at his mat here and try to find a picture that has a triangle. So I see a pizza right here, and then he's going to put it on his mat next to the um, triangle pizza. He can even put it, you know, upside down like this so that the triangle's in the same, uh, same direction. He doesn't have to though. So he'll put it on the mat, and he'll spin again, or whatever it lands on, he's going to find it. So it landed on trapezoid. So I found the trapezoid and I'm going to put it on my mat next to the picture of the trapezoid. And he'll just keep going until he matches them okay, all Okay, we have up. still been using our Touchpoint math cards for um, simple addition and subtraction. Uh, I will leave a link below where you can get these. And um, basically, if you haven't seen, I did a separate video on how we use these. But he's been, just been doing simple addition and subtraction. So two plus three, so he already knows two, then he counts three more. 4, 5, 6, 2 plus 3 equals 6. Or 9 minus 5. He already knows 9. He's going to use the touch points to count back 5. So here's 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. So 9 minus 5 equals 4. And so on. This last math activity he's going to be doing this week is the ruler measurement. We didn't get to it last week. This is from my early learner's math curriculum. Um, I, I think I had this out for him last week but we didn't get to it he just needs a ruler and he's going to practice measuring by inches and uh, i showed i showed all of these activities in a separate video on measurement and so i'll leave a link below to that if you're interested in watching it but basically he just has to measure the clothing and so he's going to take his ruler he's going to line it up he's going to measure like this one is eight inches and then i have a sorting um in here i have sorting header so he has to sort them by longer than six inches or shorter than six inches and then if it's exactly six inches he puts it in the middle so um yeah so that's just it's a sorting and it's a measuring activity and here is a valentine activity center since it is valentine's day um coming up here soon well i should say it's february and this one is just working on positional words so positional words is a math skill even though it, it's 
some people consider it a language skill as well. But what they have to do is they just have to match up. I have the positional cards. I show this in a separate video. So I'll leave a link below to all of my Valentine's Day activities. They're in a separate video. But basically they have to match the cards up. You can see here on the picture. So if it says, like this says behind, and then they have to find a picture where it shows the hearts behind. So this heart is behind the girl. So that would go with behind. And then like, obviously here's below. So they would find a picture that shows the heart below. Here's the heart below. So they're, they're just gonna match it up. And there's a couple of pictures for each um, label in order to match it up. Um, I'm gonna have him match these up on a pocket chart. And so I think it'll be fun also for his uh, four-year-old brother to get in on um, doing these positional words as well. Okay, moving on to some literacy and phonics activities he's doing this week. He actually already did this activity this morning. And this is also another Valentine's Day activity. If you see the other, if you watch the other video I'm leaving below, you have seen this one already. And um, he just has to have a manipulative to use. Here I have some candy hearts. Everybody probably has candy hearts now uh, in February. Or I also have some of these little Valentine, um, you know, little Valentine February type. I don't know what these are. They're little manipulatives. Okay, so what he needs is he just needs one of them. So I'm going to grab a candy heart here. And he puts it on the bee, and he's got to get the bee to the beehive by spinning. So he spins. This says, uh, I spun A. So he has to find the first picture on his mat that has a short vowel A. This was easy for him. He did it today, and it was pretty easy. So first one is bag, so he would move to bag. So and look then at your board. Again. And what's bag. the next? You got bed, six. Can do any can. of those? Okay, move to can. Zone two can. Yes. All right, spin again. Okay, something we started doing, um, we do sight words, but I don't focus on them too much because I believe very strongly in um, a firm phonic, pho pho phonics foundation uh, when you are teaching children to read. So um, sight words focus more on a... Um, whole language approach, whereas phonics focuses on teaching children the sounds and the, the rules so that they can use those rules to uh, read other words. And um, obviously the rules can um, don't always work, but if you teach them the basic rules, then they can use those rules to help them later on with reading all sorts of things. So um, we really focus on phonics. However, I do throw in some sight word activities from time to time. So as we learn a new sight word, what I've been doing is having him trace them on these fish. And then we've been adding the, these fish to our, um, I have a board over on the wall that says fishing for sight words. And these are absolutely free. You can get them off my website. I just put them on there the other day and it's a free download. So you can get them off my website and just laminate them and then just have your um, students trace them as they learn the new words and you can add them to your board. You could also make two copies of these and they could play um, a memory go like a memory game or a go fish game. <laughs> it's fish. So um, you could do a lot of things with these. So uh, they just, he's been tracing them as you can see with dry erase and we can just kind of erase them and um, as he learns them. And so it's just been kind of okay, fun. Okay, and then he's gonna be doing Valentine activities this week. He's gonna be doing constant blend heart slides. I will leave the video below where I show you all of these activities. Um, he's going to be doing Valentine long vowel word flip. He's gonna be doing heart scramble. He's gonna be doing Valentine robot sound switch and also candy jar double consonant puzzles. I show these all in a separate video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you wanna see all of these phonics activities that he's going to be doing for Valentine's Day, I suggest watching that video because I go in depth on those. I will leave links below to everything. And um, once again, Faithfully Homemade, has changed and I am now fun hands-on learning. So be sure to follow my new Facebook page at fun hands-on learning on Facebook. And I will leave links below to all my new pages.